all present here okay and um, today we will start the session with a few simple conversations okay so actually i had given you a small uh, task but that is not for this sunday it's for next sunday because uh, what i was telling you was after the puja holidays uh, i want you all to speak for uh, one or two minutes about how you celebrated the puja holidays and what all you did during those days and um, what did you um, or I can tell you how did you enjoy or what did you get from celebrating the puja every year we learn something right it's not only for new year uh, generally we set uh, some plans or resolutions for new year okay it's it has become a trend people every year ask what is your new year resolution new year resolution means pudu varsham what are you going to plan illena inda pudu varshathla nee enna pannanum nenikira do are you having any uh, specific goals or any kind of uh, specific plan okay so we all have so many plans and we set our uh, target uh, one year okay uh, for example if today is uh, december 31st then we set some plan and the deadline for achieving the target will be um the next or uh, december 30th or 31st like that okay so this is generally what people ask when we are going to enter a new year but resolutions are not only meant to be done during new year alone okay because some people are more attached to their own new years like re culturally or traditionally we are having so many new years in april we are having tamil new year in march we are having uh, telugu new year we call it ugadi ugadi or gudi padva we call and in april yeah it's tamil new year vishu we also call like that okay so and even uh, diwali uh, north indians uh, they consider diwali as a very auspicious festival okay when is diwali is anyone aware when is diwali i think you must have noticed in the calendar in the school diary or in the um, college diary you would have seen it's in november for when is the date november 12th i think it's november 12th okay so this time puja and uh, diwali are coming so closer okay so resolutions means it can be uh, planned any time okay so every year we celebrate uh, different kinds of festivals and um, we can have some resolution like ah uh, next to puja kula na vand i will develop my english or i will learn to speak fluently in english okay so there are so many things that you can plan okay so with that spirit prepare a speech for 2 minutes okay not more than that 1 to 2 minutes and you can present it in the next class so this is the task for next sunday and today we can start a few conversations okay so from this class we have to learn how to speak that is how to start some conversations okay it is not just about learning grammar in all the classes along with learning the grammar you should also know how to apply it in your daily life or in your practical life okay so i have just given four conversations not more than that every week we will just have four or five conversations okay maximum five conversations simple conversations for students that's how i have given the title also because it's very simple okay conversations should also always be very simple it's not about uh, using very hard words difficult words yaarkume puriyada words use pandrathu okay that is not going to help you okay you can try using new words that's good but it has to be um uh, what is what is the legible or it has to be um, easy to recognize for both to the speaker as well as to the listener okay yeah so the first conversation is dialogue between two friends arjun and harish okay so i want two volunteers who are ready to become arjun and harish for one minute ma'am i cannot hear your voice ma'am aradhana um, you can do one thing just exit okay and then join again hear your voice ma'am you do one thing you just exit the meet okay i will type it in the chat box if anyone is facing such issue you can do like that 
just exit the meet, cut the call and rejoin. Yes, she has left. Okay. So, can I want any two volunteers who can read this conversation? Yes, please. Sure. Okay, very good. Okay, Hema Bubi, just a minute, guys. Just a minute. Just a minute. Please hold on. Yes, one is uh, Bhuvanesh. Yeah, I want one more volunteer. Okay, I will call uh, Prakshana. Bhuvanesh and Prakshana can handle this conversation. Is that fine? Ma'am, uh, Kishore only wants to do this, ma'am, so... Okay, you and Kishore can do. No issues. Okay, okay. ma'am. Okay, you can do. You can take the part of Arjun and uh, the other one can take... Kishore can take the part of Harish. Okay. Yeah, so you can start reading it. So small conversation only. Yeah. Hey Harish, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good too. You are going to Mumbai next week, aren't you? Yes. That's great to hear. Happy journey. Thank you. Very good. Okay, so this is a very simple conversation, right? Only, there are only um, three exchanges, three Arjun and three Harish. Okay, so only it's a very small conversation. Because Arjun is asking, hey Harish, hi, how are you? Okay, so Harish is telling, yeah, I'm good, thank you. Again, Arjun is asking one question. I am good too. Nanu nanadar can. Okay, I am also fine. We tell like that, right? I am also fine. So instead of telling, I am also fine, you can try speaking like this. I am good too. Okay. Then he's asking, you are going to Mumbai next week, aren't you? Aren't you? Liya, ni pore liya, Mumbai pore liya. We ask like that, right? So that is aren't you? It's a question tab. Okay. Yes, so Harish is replying yes. So finally Arjun tells, that's great to hear. Happy journey. Okay, if um, any of our uh, relatives or friends is going somewhere, a lot, some, uh, if they are going to travel somewhere long, we always wish them, path boy to vanga, jagradya boy to vanga. Okay, do we tell like that or not? If they are going to long tra travel or anything else, okay, a small uh, yeah. trip, yeah, we used to tell like that. So that is called what we uh, simply tell in English, happy journey. Okay, no need to elaborate, jagradya boy to vanga, path boy to vanga. That is all in Tamil and other languages. But in English, you can just briefly wish them happy journey okay happy and safe journey you can also tell okay happy and safe journey so harish is telling thank you okay so this is one conversation so yeah now next one i want uh, next two people who can read this rakshana can you take one part i want two volunteers again yes ma'am Okay, so Prakshna is there, yeah. Who can do the uh, other person's role? Nitya, I mean Aradhana. Okay, Aradhana can take uh, the role of Mahesh and uh, Prakshna, you can start with Rohit. Okay, ready? Yes, ma'am. Rohit, hey, what's up? Mahesh. Everything is going smooth. What about you? Same here. What's your plan for this weekend? Mahesh, nothing. Rohit, why so? Thank you. 
Rohit. Oh, that's fine. Catch you later then. Okay, have you completed? Yeah, so Rohit and Mahesh, they are two friends. Okay, so that's why they are um, uh, conversing in a very informal way. Okay, they are very free. Mama, that's where they are. Sorry? Mama, I think Rohit, uh, why so? She is not tell mom. I can't understand. Sorry? Tamil is I am not getting you. Yeah. Aradhana, you can tell me about Tamil. What do you say to me? Tamil, you can tell me about Mahesh, Rohit Mahesh, Rohit Mahesh, Rohit Mahesh. Totally only four exchanges are there. Four exchanges are given by Rohit and four by Mahesh. Okay. So, Rohit is asking, Hey, what's up? What's up means, what are you going to do? Life is going to do. So Mahesh is telling everything is going smooth. What about you? Okay. So Rohit is telling same here. What's your okay? So first Rohit is telling, yeah, same here. Everything is going smooth for me also. And what's your plan for this weekend? Okay. So he's asking, what's your plan for this weekend? What are you planning this weekend? What is weekend? Rakshana, what is weekend? Last statement. Okay, so uh, what are the weekend? Weekend means uh, which day? Friday, ma'am. No, weekend means we have to consider it. We have to consider it as Sunday. Okay, in fact, weekend means Sunday. If we call it weekends, some people call it weekends, then it will be Saturday and Sunday. Okay, we always start with Monday, right? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday, Sunday is what is considered as weekends. Week, but some people will have only one day holiday. Okay. For people like me, there is only one day holiday. That is Sunday. But that too, I am uh, enjoying with you children. Okay. But it's like a holiday only for me. Because um, what is it? I am not uh, taking so many efforts and all. Okay. I just want to interact with you all. So it's something that gives me happiness. So this is like a holiday for me. I'm meeting so many friends, my dear children here. Okay, so weekend is considered as Sunday or Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so again Mahesh is telling no, nothing. There is no plan this weekend. I asked you all in the beginning of this class, right? What are you planning in this puja holidays? Do you remember? Didn't I ask you? Are you going anywhere during the puja holidays? Did I ask you or not? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. So that is what even Rohit is also asking. What's your plan for this weekend? So Mahesh tells nothing. So Rohit, why so? Why? Why so? So Mahesh is telling, I have a project to complete. Okay, so Rohit is telling, oh, that's fine. Catch you later then. So what is this catch you later? Catching means it's not literally pudikkerudu, not like that. We'll meet you later. Or we'll talk to you later. Okay. In Tamil, we tell, Sorry, Apram Pesalam. Or we'll meet you later. Aprama Pakalam, Sandikalam. Okay, that is what we call in English as catch you later. Okay, catching means not literally catching. Okay. So catch you later, we also use it in conversation. She did not tell the fifth point. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, Aradhana. Okay, so Mahesh is finally concluding the conversation. Okay, next two more volunteers for the next conversation who are ready to do? I think girls can take this, I think. Aradhana, again Aradhana. Okay, just a minute. Let me see how many of them are uh, still waiting. We will give chance to all. Jenny, can you take uh, the role of uh, one girl? I want two girls here. Jenny? Mom? Yes, Jenny, can you take the role of Rita? Rita and Tina. So okay. one can be taken by Rita. Rita can be done by Jenny. Okay, okay so Aradhana, okay. No other girls are interested. Okay, so Jenny and Aradhana can do this. Yes, um, Jenny will be Rita, Aradhana will be Tina. 
Yeah, you can start. Rita, hey Tina, is, is it you? Tina, ho oh, Rita, how are you? It's been a long time. Uh, children, you can do one thing. Students, instead of reading that name, you can start the conversation directly. No need to read Rita, Tina, Rita. Don't need to read that. Okay, because if you read Rita, you will not be able to So, no need to read it again. Okay. I am fine, dear. What do you do now? I am... I am... Pursuing... I am pressing my... Graduation. Graduation here. In which college? Government College of Arts and Science. Wow, so we can meet often. Yes, and I'm happy too. Convey my regards to your parents as well. Sure, and you too. Good, very good. So, um, yeah, the fourth conversation, Tina is telling, I am pursuing my graduation. Pursuing means to follow something or to do something. Okay. If you are doing a course, we can tell I am pursuing that uh, particular course. Okay. If you are studying in 7th um, seventh, uh, seventh standard, you can tell I am studying in 7th standard. But when you are doing some course in college, then we won't say I am studying. We tell pursuing. Pursuing means to follow something or to do something, to achieve something. Okay. So, Tina is telling, I am pursuing my graduation. Graduation means degree. Three years we study in college. That is the first uh, course that we do in college. And after that, some people do post graduation or we call it PG. Okay. Short form, we call it PG, post graduation. So, that is for two years. Okay. So, I am pursuing my graduation means Tina is doing her graduation in a college. That's why Rita is asking in which college. She didn't ask in which school. She is asking in which college because graduation can be done only in colleges. So, Tina is telling Government Arts and Science College. Okay. So, again Rita is very happy and it's not often. Okay. Jenny, you should read it often. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, often it's wrong. T is silent. Okay. Okay, yeah. ma'am. So, and finally, they are telling, convey my regards to your parents. Okay, convey my regards means, um, we tell, I, amma, appa, kita, ketada, solunga. That is what is convey my regards to your parents as well. Okay, so, Tina is telling, sure, and you too. Okay, very good attempt. Okay, and there is one last conversation. Okay, I think, Two boys can come forward to read this. Ananda Krishnan, go fine. Okay. Um, Hema Bhuvi, I think um, there are some more boys. Let me see. Prakshana, this is, uh, I can give this for boys. Let me see, is there any boys uh, who, whom I have left? Srinidhi? Srinidhi? Ma'am? Yes, Srinidhi, can you take uh, the role of one person in this? There are two people, A and B. So, A can be taken by Ananda Krishnan and B can be done by you. Is that fine? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Yes, you can go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Do you speak English? A yeah, little. Are you American? Yes. Where are you from? I am from California. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow, that was very smooth and short. Okay. The exchanges are long, but uh, the dialogues are very simple. Okay. So here, this is not a conversation between friends. Okay. So uh, if you had heard this clearly, those who have read this, they would have understood that. Those who have heard this conversation now, you could have understood that this is not a conversation between any two friends. Okay, this is a conversation between two uh, strangers. They are meeting for the first time. Okay, that's why A is telling hello and B is also wishing hi. Then A is asking, how are you? I'm good. Okay, though I think um, 
they can be um, a one time friend like that okay like they are not very close friends or um, nothing like that imagine that they have met somewhere before okay sometimes we get friends accidentally like uh, we meet uh, we have to come to meet them somewhere in a temple or in any public place they would have helped us or we would have helped them okay and later a few, a few months later or something if we meet the same person at some other place uh, we greet them hey hi hi yeah how are you eppadi irkeenga okay so that is how friendships are created right so likewise we can consider this also okay so a is asking how are you and b is telling i am good how are you so again a is asking uh, do you speak english so b a little okay and he is again asking are you american so again a is telling yes and uh, he is telling that i am from california where are you from where are you from means inga endha edatha sendavanga okay so i am from california so nice to meet you nice to meet you too okay so this is also another conversation between two short term friends okay the first three conversations was between a uh, uh, people who know each other very well but this is something slightly different from the first three okay so we can continue this conversation in the next class also in all the upcoming classes we will have this kind this kind of activities okay so now we can again go back to our um, verbs okay so we started with verbs in the last class okay and uh, we also discussed the three types of verbs finite verbs transitive verbs and intransitive verbs okay do you remember that how many of you remember last class nobody not even one na huh? okay prakshna good good okay happy that at least one has responded okay so the three types of verbs we will just start with this the verbs are again classified into three they are finite verbs transitive verbs and intransitive verbs okay so we have to know the definition for each of these what is meant by a finite verb what is a transitive verb and what is an intransitive verb okay so the definition goes like this finite verbs verbs that have a definite tense are called finite verbs it means okay we as we have already said or we have discussed this in many of our classes that verbs generally have three or four forms okay we can call it three or four v1 v2 v3 and v4 so v1 will be the present tense v2 will be the past form v3 will be the past participle form and v4 will be the ing form okay ing or we call it the gerund okay v v1 plus ing that is called a gerund okay or we call it v4 that's also fine so these such verbs no if we consider take one verb for example i can take the word um come okay come is a verb in english what is the v2 for come came came ma'am came okay what about the v3 came also ma'am no no v3 no no come, v3 come. is come v3 is come okay so v1 and v3 are same for come for come came come and what will be the v4 prakshna v4 is v1 plus ing form coming ma'am coming coming yes so, no 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 will alla inge varadu okay <laughs> now we are not discussing anything with the will okay that will that is in future tense okay so come came come and coming yeah so i will give you one more example give give g i v e give Okay, what is the V two for give? Give, give ma'am. Give. Okay, what about the V three? Give, got ma'am. Given. Give, give, give. Given. No, no. Give, G I V E. Give, give. What is the V three? Got ma'am. No, no. It's given. 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 Yeah. G I V E and given, and we have the V four as giving. G I V I N G. Okay, I am giving you food. I am giving you a uh, homework. I am giving you a task. Okay, giving will be the V four. 
so here there are certain verbs that can change their form according to the change in tense if the tense changes the verb also so there is a form of the verb also changes we can change the verb from v1 to v2 then from v2 to v3 and then from v3 to v4 again if i want to bring back to v1 that is also possible so such kinds of verbs are called finite verbs they are finite okay so the examples are gave loves rang is are etc even is or are are also considered like that because is is an auxiliary verb okay it is not a main verb but still we can consider it as a finite verb because is 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 the v1 form what is the v2 for is was okay so for auxiliary verbs we have only v1 and v2 forms there is no v3 and uh, v4 okay auxiliary verbs mean a helping verbs helping verbs they have only v1 and uh, v2 form v3 v4 la ang varadu because already they are very short okay so what will be if was abdingaradu und is ku past tense na what will be the past tense for are are abdingara helping verb oda past form enna va irukum what will be the v2 they no i am asking for are a r e are is present tense so what will be the past tense were w e r e were okay is past tense is was are the past tense will be were okay so we are friends it means we are now friends we were friends means we were friends once upon a time but now we are not friends okay so likewise um she is um writing okay so now it is in present tense she was writing it was it is something that happened in the past okay so examples like gave love rang is are etc are all called finite verbs yes so aradhana can you read the first uh, the examples for the finite verbs only the three sentences yes ma'am hmm. i like chocolate present present tense The exam was on Sunday. Past tense. Raghu will come tomorrow. Future tense. Okay. Here, the mm. here the inclined inclined italicized. Okay, that I will read. Man, no issues. Okay, so here I have italicized three words: like, uh, was, and will. Okay, in the first sentence, like is the verb. In the second sentence, was is the verb. and in the third one come is the verb so i have just changed the font into italics so the italicized words are the verbs that change their forms according to the tense okay if the sentence is in present tense the verb will also be in present if it is in past again the verb should change into v2 form and if it in if it is in future tense then it will come along with will past participle will come along with will okay so here the italicized words are the finite words okay so this is about finite words so the next one is transitive words okay so yeah who can read the definition yes someone can read the definition i want all of you to come forward rachna can read the definition verbs that need objects to complete their meaning or call a transitive verb okay so some there are some verbs that need objects in sentences to complete their meaning okay so you all know what is an object in a sentence there are three parts subject verb and object there are some sentences which can stand without object also okay we discussed that in the last class can anyone give me one example just one example for uh, that kind of sentence only subject and verb should be there let me see who gives it he play ah he plays okay it will be he plays okay 
the just uh, you have to make it place okay yeah she yeah, is yes. sleeping no 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 kana there is no object object should not come he plays very good okay so i just need one example that's enough so there are sentences which don't require an object but some sentences will definitely require an object okay they need without object no they cannot exist they are dependent such verbs are called transitive verbs okay so here in the examples i would like to read the first example because it is a little bit confusing sham plays the guitar beautifully so here sham is the subject plays is the verb the guitar beautifully is the object so here the verb is plays but we can also uh, we can also use the same verb to tell the sentence a uh, boys play or girls play while writing boys play or girls play there is no need of object then why are we using here alone a kind of object that is the guitar beautifully so boys play girls play na apdi solum bodu object thevai illa the we are just using one subject and the verb but here also i am using the same verb plays but still why am i adding an object the guitar beautifully idella edukku thevai illama this question is very common but the answer is very simple plays abingaradhukku there are two meanings one is to play in the ground playing velayattu that is one meaning the second one is to play instruments musical instruments play pandrathu okay to play something to play a video game uh, to play a song to play veena to play violin to play guitar okay musical instruments can be used using of musical instruments is called playing okay but that is not velayattu okay so the word play has two meanings in two situations that is the reason here we are having the subject verb and also the object is it clear now can you identify understand the difference between the word play in uh, boy, um, boys play and uh, sham plays the guitar beautifully the end situation you in the plays abingra verb word uh, meaning enna dhan purinjida yes ma'am hmm that is what you have to understand okay next one is yeah i want the sreeniti can you read the second and third examples sreeniti veeramani yes ma'am yeah the doctor gave me some medicines the physician prescribed some tablets to the patient okay so here the doctor gave okay the doctor gave here gave is again a transitive verb okay so in the first example that is in the first kind of verb what was the first kind of verb what is the first kind of verb what is the first kind of verb finitive verb ma'am it's not finitive it's finite okay so in finite verb also there is gave in transitive verb also gave is there there is gave it is because gave is a verb that cannot exist without an object also it is a verb that can change according to the tenses the gave play abdi in the words in the madri the words ellame finite avum irukum transitive avum irukum okay so transitive verbs ana ella finite verbs and they are not transitive there are some exceptions okay so here gave is a finite verb as well as a transitive verb also okay so the doctor gave me some medicines if i simply write the doctor gave does it give you any sense does it give any meaning no meaning okay the doctor gave me some medicines if you only use the word some medicines the sentence will be meaningful the physician prescribed if i simply tell the physician prescribed and I, and if i give a full stop does it make any sense no it doesn't make the physician prescribed what did he prescribe some tablets to the patient okay so if, if without an object a sentence this sentence cannot be uh, 
completed. So here the verbs place, gave, prescribe, etc. need at least one object to give us a meaningful sentence. Okay, so this is all about transitive verbs. So finally moving to the third case which is intransitive verbs. Okay, so Sarvesh can you read the definition? Sarvesh? Sarvesh, are you there in the meet? Okay. Rakshan? Rakshan? Revati? Revati, please switch on your mic. Are you new student? Revati Pudu student amma. See at least you can reply yes or no right. If someone is asking you a question you must have the minimum basic manners to reply at least. Yes madam. See, I am just asking you, are you a new student? I didn't, I'm not, I didn't ask you any question related to grammar or anything. So why are you taking this much time to respond at least a yes or no? It's very bad students. Are you a school student or um, where are you from? Yes, Revati, where are you from? Madam, I am working. I want to learn English, so I attend the class. Okay, Revati, that's fine, but uh, please give some response on time. Okay. Okay, madam. Okay. Yeah, where are you working? Um, in school, madam. Okay, uh, are you a teacher? Yes, yes. Okay, in which school, ma'am? Jodi hmm. Vidyalaya, uh, madam. Okay, fine. Where is it? In Elambile. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, so we'll do one thing. Um, Jenny, can you read the definition? Jenny, you just want, you have to read the definition. No need to read the examples. Okay, ma'am. In terms yeah. of verbs, verbs that do not uh, require an object to complete their meaning or called interactive interactive verbs Ma'am? Ma'am, I cannot. Ma'am, I cannot hear your, hear your voice, ma'am. Ma'am, your mic is muted. Okay, okay, fine. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Okay, so please listen. Yeah. So transitive and intransitive verbs, you can easily identify the difference. That is, transitive verbs does not require an object. Okay. Oh, I'm a con uh, yeah, am I misleading you? Just a minute. Sorry. Intransitive verbs are verbs that do not require an object. Okay, so generally we study that uh, positive, negative, there are two types like advantages, disadvantages, 
and merits and demerits like that you can differentiate transitive and intransitive also so transitive verbs are verbs that need an object to complete a sentence whereas intransitive verbs do not require an object to complete a sentence okay without an object itself they can survive they can give us a meaningful uh, sentence so that is what we call intransitive verbs so let's see the examples the phone rang okay the phone rang so rang is the verb here so what is the present form of rang what is the v1 of rang ring ring, ring yeah so ring is the v1 for rang so this is a finite verb finite means any verb that can change its form according to the tenses that is a finite verb okay so rang is a finite verb and it is an intransitive verb also okay whereas uh, gave gave is a finite verb as well as a transitive verb gave abdingirathu finite um irundathu transitive avum irundathu but rang abdingirathu finite avum irukku intransitive avum irukku because it does not require any object the phone rang okay phone adichathu that's enough no need of any other object next is the train arrived the train arrived so arrived is a it's an intransitive verb the lion roars okay the lion roars then birds fly boys play okay so these are again intransitive verbs as as well as they are finite verbs because ring rang it can change the form arrived is the past tense of arrive so again it can change the tense or we can change the tense roars it is in present tense if you want to change it into past tense we can make it roared okay then what is the past tense of fly if i want to tell uh, it if, if i want this uh, change in past tense what can how can the sentence be changed flew ma'am very good birds flew okay birds flew okay then we can tell boys play instead of that if i want it in past tense then i can tell boys played so according to my wish i can change the tense also so it is a finite verb as also an intransitive verb okay very simple in fact okay that is why i have made it very very short in ppt if you refer any textbook or something grammar book no this will run for a minimum 4 to 5 pages so you will be like enada adu tirpi tirpi they are giving the same thing that is why i have comprised it into just 3 uh, ppts that is 3 slides okay next is there are two types of intransitive verbs again so intransitive verb itself is again divided into two types so what are they verbs of action and verbs of be verbs of action such as rang arrive roars laugh cry play etc do not require an object to complete their meaning and therefore they are intransitive verbs verbs of being abdina like is am are was were etc do not provide information about an action but inform us about the state of being of the noun okay so they are only finite they cannot be intransitive they are always transitive okay so auxiliary verbs are always transitive because they need an object if i just tell she is she is abdin sonna adle na meaning iruka illena he is raman is full stop onume illa there is no meaning yes nothing is there it is an incomplete sentence so we don't get uh, anything meaningful okay so they are such sentences require an object okay so mainly we have to know understand that auxiliary verbs or helping verbs require an object to complete a sentence hence they are called as helping verbs or auxiliary verbs okay so auxiliary verbs can help the main verb but they cannot stand alone okay avanga vande they cannot they are dependent they always depend the object they cannot survive alone okay yeah more examples 
verbs such as is, am, are, was, were, become, became, etc. always need an object or a complement. Complement is nothing but um, it is somewhat similar to object only. Okay, here, uh, Rahana is a good girl. So that good girl is a complement. Uh, the nights become longer in winter. So longer in winter is uh, taken as an object. The dogs were smart. So were smart or sm sorry, the dogs were smart. Smart will be the complement because there is only one word in the object, right? Then I am a dancer. Okay, so you are describing yourself that you are a dancer. So a dancer is a complement. She was a doctor. A doctor is a complement. We became speechless. Speechless is a complement as well as an object. Okay, so sometimes uh, com object comes in the form of a complement. So how to identify a complement? If it is uh, some like, if it looks like an adjective, you can consider it as a complement. Like good girl, um, smart, dan I am a dancer, I am a doctor. Okay, all these will be an example for, all these are examples for complements. Yes, any doubts? Fish swims, uh, fishes swim. Fishes swim, fish swims. Singular, the verb should also be singular. But the example is good. Good, Prakshna. Okay. So now, we, yeah. So now we can move to the tenses and verbs. Okay. So we started this um, PPT with what are verbs. The second part was what are the different kinds of verbs and the third part we have finally come to that third part how to use the verbs in different tenses okay yes so prakshna can you read the first two sentences what is a tense yeah what is a tense tense is used to denote the time of an action in english the verb along chains according to the change in tense there are three tense past present and future tenses we will first study the present tense and how to use it okay so this we already know i'm not giving an elaborated explanation what is a tense tense means time okay so there are three tenses in English, past tense, present tense and future tenses. And the main thing that we have to know in tenses is that the verb changes according to the change in tense. Okay, so first we can check how the verbs are used in present tense. So present tense is used to denote an action that happens now. And present tense is again divided into four. Yes, so who can read this? Aradhana, can you read the four names? Yes, Aradhana. Ma'am, may I? Yeah, who is that? Hema Bhuvanesha? Yes, Bhuvanesha. Kishore. You can okay, Kishore, you can do. Simple present, present continuous, present perfect. Present perfect continuous. Okay, so the four tenses that come under present tense are simple present, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous tense. So we know what are the four tenses and uh, how we have to use them. We know their structure, uh, how to write them. We know all these things, but verb we use pannanam. How the verb changes in each tense. Simple present lekumbodu how it is working, and then when changing the sentence into present continuous, how is it changed? Then again when changing it to present perfect, then how the verb is changed, and finally when coming to present perfect continuous, how we are using the verb. This is what we have to know now. Okay, so now. Please listen. This is in a tabular form. Okay, because I have chosen to give you the examples in the form of a table. Because if it is in tabular form, it is easy for you to understand. So, in the first table, 
it is divided into three parts subject verb and object object or complement okay but in the first table we are not going to study any complement only there is an object so the subjects in the first column is i you they or we okay so if the subject is i or you or they or we then the verb will be in plural form because we know i you they we okay i you they we um in school we were taught like um, to easily remember this uh, one of the teachers uh, taught like this ayo devi okay we tell that ayo okay so you can remember memorize like this i u devi okay so i u devi are plural subjects so the verb must also be in plural form so watch then object is television so you can just try telling each subject with the verb and object i watch television you watch television they watch television and we watch television is it correct yes ma'am is the form yes now i am changing the subjects to singular he she and rani ahmed okay he she rani and ahmed so they are totally singular so the verb will also be in singular form and object is the same so now let's check how the sentences will be he watches television she watches television rani watches television ahmed watches television is this correct yes ma'am okay so are you able to understand what is the difference between watch and watches yes ma'am only prakshna what about others you have to be thorough with this this is in simple present tense okay yeah if you are having any doubts at least uh, you can type it in the comment box i will check it okay in the last 5 minutes i will check it okay good good okay yeah so now this is about simple present in simple present the structure of the sentence is subject plus the first form of the verb plus object so that is what we have followed here subject plus v1 form watch or watches both are in v1 only and object now we are moving to uh, the same simple present tense but instead of object we are using complements okay so here you can clearly understand what is object and complement idu vandu nareya perku doubt ethana idu padichalum many people will have this how to identify object and complement idu rendu me same ah illa rendu rendu different subjects ah but you can understand that here so i have given a subject a verb a no object and a complement okay i want uh, two people who can read this one can be prakshna the other can be let me check ananta krishnan can you take the take up yeah yeah ananta krishnan can read the first two prakshna can read third and fourth okay hmm. i am a singer okay. she is a dancer okay yeah now uh, he is a dancer you can read that also okay that is why i have given okay. options you can you have to um, frame sentences with the, both the subjects that i have given okay yeah okay. now Praksh, yeah prakshna you can try the third one uh, okay kishore i will give you kishore i will give you the fourth one okay yeah okay. yeah mm. prakshna can start mm. you are amazing mm. we are amazing they mm. are amazing yeah so you are amazing we are amazing they are amazing so here the subject can be any subject i u v or anything verb is given of the complement is amazing okay so amazing means it instead of calling it an object you can call it a complement if it is in one word like this like uh, a dancer means you are uh, telling the job of a person he is a dancer it means that he is a skilled person in dance likewise i am a singer means i am talented in singing that's why i am i am telling i am a singer 
So that is again a compliment. Yeah. Um, Kishore, you can read the fourth one. Yes. Fourth one, Kishore. Bhuvanesh or Kishore, you asked me. Hmm. It is? Hmm. It is? Huh. What's happening? In the Prachna Aradhana, exit the meet and join. Yes, Prachna. Yes, Prachna, what's your doubt? Yes, you can read it. Yeah. And you can ask your doubt also. Hmm. It is a monkey. Okay, it is a monkey. So, a monkey is a compliment. Okay, yeah. Ma'am, we... A or Yan? Where? Which place? Yeah, monkey, ma'am. Hmm. We ask Ya yeah or A. A or Ya. Yeah. Ya yeah is wrong. You should not pronounce Ya. Yeah. It is A. Uh. My English uh. promise told me, ma'am, A. Uh. Yes, A is correct. You should not pronounce Ya. Yeah. Ya yeah means that Tamil touch should not come. Okay. You should try speaking it. It is a monkey. It is a monkey. He is a dancer. She is a singer. I am a singer. Okay. You should not mix Tamil with English. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank yeah, you, ma'am. Welcome. You have to practice it. If you practice, you can change your uh, slang. Yeah. Okay, So now, yeah. The next one is. Subject, verb, object and complement. The first three sentences will have a complement and the rest of them will have only objects. Okay, so I think each um, row can be taken by one person. Okay, so I will start with Prakshana itself. Prakshana can read the first three. First row Prakshana can complete. Hmm. My name is Radhika. My mother name is <laughs> my mother is a teacher. Hmm. My father is a banker. Okay. Yeah. Next one, who is willing to do? Mom, I am... Yes, Jenny. Okay, Jenny, I will give chance to all. Okay, I think uh, Jenny can... Jenny, please wait. Next can be given to Aradhana. Okay? Hmm. Aradhana, please read it. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm a student. Hmm. She is my husband. Hmm. She is my sister's friend. Good. Yeah. Next one, Ananta Krishnan. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you look like a princess. Hmm. We are always happy. They are Americans. Good. Oh, next is Prakshna. Sorry, not uh, who raised the hand? Jenny, sorry. Jenny, Jenny. Hmm. I read books. You read books. We read books. They read many books. Okay. And uh, who is who wants to read the last one? Srinidhi. Okay. She reads many books. She reads many books. It plays many games. Okay, very good. Okay, so here we have come across different subjects. Okay, um, I, you, we, they, he, she, it. And apart from that, you can also try using names like uh, Manu, Anu, Sanu. Or um, you, are, you can use your own name. Okay, and uh, in some sentences, in most of the sentences, objects are used and compliments are used in uh, a few sentences like uh, my name is Radhika. So, while telling your name, your name will become the compliment. Uh, my mother is a teacher. So, while telling the occupation, that occupation is considered as a compliment, not an object. Likewise, uh, my father is a banker. Again, a banker is a compliment. Okay, if I tell uh, she is a guitarist, 
okay then a guitarist is a complement i am a dancer i am a classical dancer then classical dancer will be a complement okay yeah yeah finally we have uh, one more negative sentences okay so we should always be aware of positive as well as negative sentences also okay in negative sentences there is only one difference what is the difference between positive and negative sentences just uh, one i want a one line answer hmm. do not 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 is used okay if there is a uh, if there is the word not in a sentence then the whole sentence will become a negative sentence okay but not uh, there is uh, so there are so many negative words not only not is the word okay no not nothing neither nor never nobody no one none hardly scarcely rarely barely few little and some okay so these are the list of negative words that we have already discussed okay so yeah i want again four people yeah who is the first one you can just start switch on the mic and you can read no need to raise your hand yeah can i can start okay i do not watch television hmm. i do not eat meat okay okay fine you do not okay we will do one thing we will split this okay we will split it okay you read uh, the first uh, two verbs now prakshna can try for we and uh, they chariya yes ma'am Hmm. They do okay. not want. Okay, yes. Uh, Arunda Krishnan, I will give you another chance. Don't worry, I will give you. I thought of dividing this, okay, because uh, the the same person instead of same person, let um, all of them get the chance, okay. Yeah. Yes, Prachna first. We do not watch television. Hmm. They they do not eat meat. Hmm. Then we can also tell we do not eat meat. That is also possible, no? Yes, ma'am. Okay. What you can, what you have to do, you have to use all the subjects with all the verbs, okay, and frame sentences. That is why I have given options here. Okay, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. Again, um, I read, ma'am. Hmm. Again, I read, ma'am. No need. You have uh, done almost. That's okay. Yeah. Next one, um, Aradhana. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. She does not watch television. Hmm. She does not watch television. Hmm. She does not watch television. Okay, fine. Then, who is interested to read the next? Okay, Srini Di. Hmm. She does not eat meat. Hmm. She does not eat meat. Hmm. She does not eat meat. Very good. Last one. Who wants to do the last one? Oh, Ananta Krishnan, can you give a try? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Rani does not read books. Okay. Ahmed does not read books. Surya does not read books. Very good. So here, Rani, Ahmed, and Surya, they are all singular subjects, but still we are using read, not reads. Again, he, she, it. They are singular subjects, and we are using the verb eat instead of eats. Why is it like that? Why I didn't add s here? Can you identify why it is like that? The sentence. Ah. No, it's not. It's not about the tense. Okay. புரியல டா என்னது நீங்க முன்னாடி டஸ் நாட் அலர்ட் நெகட்டிவ் வார்ட் ஆட் பண்ணிக்கறதுனால இல்ல நாட் அபௌட் a நெகட்டிவ் வார்ட் ஓகே ஈவன் இஃப் தி சென்டென்ஸ் இஸ் பாசிட்டிவ் ஆல்சோ இஃப் வி ஆர் யூசிங் டஸ் டூ அண்ட் ஆல் டூ டஸ் இதெல்லாம் ஆட் பண்றோம்னா தி மெயின் வெர்ப் வந்து எஸ் ஆட் பண்ண வேண்டாம் ஓகே ஹியர் he does not eat meat so here he அப்படிங்கிறது இட்ஸ் a singular subject Okay, so generally people will think, oh, if subject is singular enough, then we have to add s to the verb also. But here, he eats meat. Abdi na, then you have to add e a t s. But here I am using does, d o e s, does. So the does word na na, no need to add s to eat. 
सेम इज द केस इन द लास्ट वन आल्सो रानी और अहमद और सूर्या डस नॉट रीड बुक्स इफ इट इज सिंपली रीड बुक्स और समथिंग वी हैव टू ऐड एस रानी रीड्स बुक्स अहमद रीड्स बुक्स सूर्या रीड्स बुक्स लाइक दैट बट आई एम यूजिंग अ हेल्पिंग वर्ब डस सो नो नीड टू अगेन ऐड एस इन द मेन वर्ब इफ इज इट क्लियर नाउ एस मैम या okay so with this we can wind up today's session okay very good if you are having any doubts you can ask we are having a uh, 2 minutes time for any doubts you can ask nothing ma'am okay what about uh, aradhana ananta krishnan yeah okay okay aradhana yeah. sriniki um किशोर भुवनेश रेवती रेवती एंड ऑल यू हैव टू कम फॉरवर्ड ओके बीइंग अ वर्किंग वुमन यू हैव टू कम फॉरवर्ड डोंट हेसिटेट दिस इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्लास बिकॉज ऑल ऑफ देम हियर आर जूनियर्स टू यू रेवती ओके या आई थिंक इवन आई एम अ जूनियर टीम समटाइम्स यस यस आराधना Hmm. What is the fire's past tense, ma? What is the past tense for? Fire. Fire. F I R E fire. Ah. Yes, ma'am. Fire fired. F I R E D fired. And for uh, present tense, ma? Fire. Fire. Uh, What is fire? What is fire? Ah, uh, nerp. सर नूक ओके Fire accident and all that. So I'm going to. There is only one fire, but if it comes, it, if it becomes a verb, then you have to uh, use it like I am going to fire you, or I am going to fire that uh, employee. Well, and the two key and for that. One word is spelling. One more come, but noun noun varu verb noun varu. Yes. Verb a vanda da. That past tense, future tense all are there. Noun noun verb are there. Yes, thank you, thank you. Very very good question. Yeah. That's nice. You should also know what is homophones. There is one category called homophones. The pronunciation will be same, but the spellings and meanings will be different. अपने और क्या ऐसे करेंगे इसे? Like uh, meat, meat. जैसे आ रहा था ना meat. What is the spelling for meat? Young e e t meat. Okay. There is one more meat, no? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> spelling? Ah, uh, yangi a t. Ah, uh, but you pronounce it but in the same. Meat, meat. Similarly, is... meat, 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 m e a t. C also, ma'am. C C, ma'am. C C. Ah, ah very good. Yangi sun, sun. S C E. S C E S C E. Very good. Then uh, sun sun. Yeah, I the one of my cousin. Sorry, my cousin used to tell when he was a small boy. Um, uh, his name is Santosh. Okay, and uh, he used to tell that S O um, S O N Sun. Sorry, S U N Sun means Nama Kumbhidra Sun. S O N Sun means Kutan. <laughs> he used to tell like that. He was called Kutan at home. Um, so he used to tell S U N Sun is that Kadavul. S O N Sun is me, Santosh. He used to tell like that. Okay. Very weak, good. weak, weak, weak. Yeah, I yeah. think uh, Anupurni. For these students, you can give this uh, this kind of uh, homework also. No, let them uh -huh. do at home and come. I mean, this, uh, let them give in the group itself. Ah, okay. So I want all of you to give uh, five homophones. 
we call it homophones i will just uh, type it in the comment box okay just go and uh, after um, the class just think just think don't refer uh, any internet or anything think can write okay then only it will be interesting homophones okay yes okay okay so can we wind up this session yes ma'am Okay, yeah, so, so Annapurni, I just want to have a word with you. Avangala pasangala poorna poi kikana. You can go, students. You can leave. I want to have a word with you. The for uh, there's a big requirement of come um, primarily to teach English to the college students. Adula vandi panamma ipa pandra mari idala vanda. Angya neera you have to go to synonym, antonym, uh, sentence correction, uh, jumbled words, jumbled sentences. Thank you, um, thank you, sir. Ah, thank you. Uh, thank and then uh, error, error, uh, you know, finding error. Basically, in the placement point of view, we may have to do. Kuncha abhi mentally prepare pani vechhinga. Once we uh, get that, uh, we will start doing it. At the end of time, adala para namma convenient kora solir kanga. Who is a, which institution is asking this? It, it is a commercial work. Anala maybe you now we may get paid little better. கொஞ்சம் Uh, except uh, that lady Rajesh Puri and her own pair, but that's the name of it. So they have asked, and then uh, we are actually, I am forcing them to accept uh, kind of uh, online. I said we have got two, three teachers from various places. They are good. Abhi prayer, so leave. Okay. Uh, get ready mentally. We will talk later.